Season 4 is upon us. It's been... Three, two or three months since the last one. And we took a break, and now we're going strong with Season 4. And I'm taking this more serious than ever. Now, I'm actually going to have graphics, trailers, and cool things like that. You know, stuff. So, basically, um, since it is the fourth season, I asked Siri four random letters. Now, these four random letters, the beginning of the four random letters, are going to be the car companies and manufacturers you're going to be able to use. The first letter was C, which means that you are allowed to use any Cadillac, Caterham, Chevrolet, a couple good ones in there, or Chrysler. Now, the Chevy Hoonigan, which is right here, this Hoonigan counts. You are allowed to use this if you would like, but just keep in mind what the limits are going to be later. Next letter that was spawned, or yeah, spawned. The next letter was N, which means, as you know, Nissan, GTR, uh, 370Z, Fair Lady, Sylvia, uh, Skyline Nismo, 240s, stuff like that. And you can also use the Noble if you'd like to use the Noble. The next letter was a T that was on. So, which this means you're allowed to use a Sunbeam Lotus. It is actually really, really good. It's kind of like the Toyota, um, but it's pretty good. You can use a Tesla and a Toyota, which you can obviously use a GT86 Supra Celica, which is my favorite drift car as of right now. You also use the uh, GT MR2, uh, and of course the uh, Toyota 86 or A86, I should say, the Corolla. Uh, those are all things as well, and you can use a TVR cigars, which is really good too. And the last letter, which is a hefty one, is M. You are allowed to use M, which would be Maserati, you know, use any of these. Mazda, probably MX-5s, a lot of RX-7s. Uh, this one counts. You are not allowed to use the Hoonigan, not the Hoonigan Mazda, not that one, because that one is OP and it's meant for drifting, so you aren't allowed to use that one, but you can still use the Mazdas. Uh, you can use McLaren if you'd like as well, AMG, <laughs> who knows, go right ahead, um, and you can use, obviously you can use that too, that, uh, evil, uh, yep, Evolution, that's how you say it, uh, 190E, pretty good too, uh, Mercury, MG, Mini, Mitsubishi, Pricey some Evos, and Morgan, I don't recommend that, but those are the cars you can use, so, the limits now, you're probably wondering, uh, there are going to be, I'm going to show you, because I still get people who don't know how to make their own car. Like, I still get people who come with a thousand horsepower and with engine swaps. So this is how you, you do it. It's not that hard. I'm going to show you a car that I've made before. So you're not allowed to use BMW. Uh, I'm just taking this as an example. But this is how you're going to build your car. Okay? You are allowed to build your car any way you want. You just have to follow these rules. No engine swaps. So this is not allowed. You'd have to go to the stock powertrain. Uh, you have to keep it your same um, drivetrain. You can aspiration. I don't really care. Get that whatever you want. Body kit. Do whatever you want there. You can do anything in aero. Uh, I'll skip that for a second. You can do anything in drivetrain. Anything in handling. And anything in engine. But that, there's going to be catch for that. Now the tires and rims. If you're going to go stock. You, uh, if you go stock. You're allowed to put up to 650 horsepower. That's the maximum though. You can't go any higher than 650 if you're to go stock. If you were to put on the, I don't know why it's not here, but if you were to put on street tires, you are only allowed to go up to 500 horsepower. Now this is so tandems are closer together. Uh, I don't care what you do with the width or the rims. And then obviously with the engine, uh, you have to stay in the horsepower limits. Uh, I'll have all this posted in the description as well if you don't understand. I also, I don't care how you tune the car. Uh, that is what makes your drift car your own. And obviously paint jobs don't matter. If you're on a team, uh, make sure you put that in the comment and have your livery ready. And another thing, if you're not going to do it, don't put your comment down below and waste my time. Like last time, I got 60 comments with uh, gamer tags and I only had eight people join. So here is the track. Now the track is not complicated. Um, it's a little more complicated than what the last ones were, but I wanted to get some variation. It has a lot of, uh, you'll see the track obviously, but um, you might want to build your car differently 
because there's a lot of long sweeping turns. Kind of a, a figure eight that's turned into uh, a whole bunch of fishtail curves. I don't know what you call them. You'll just see. So you start off here. What you're going to want to do is I'm going to drive it first. I'll do it in third gear. And you're going to want to go out here. Now these are clipping points as well. The farther you get to the outside, then you come back in. Uh, the poles obviously will be knocked down uh, by the time it's your turn. But then you're going to make the turn here. So at this point, it's kind of a figure eight. This is a clipping point here. You're going to want to take this all the way out to the outside. It's a clipping point. And then you're going to want to turn here. So this is kind of familiar, correct? And for this one, you're going to go to the third tree. You're going to go through here. You're going to pull it to the outside. Now this is the long sweeping turn. As you see, the turn lasts the whole entire thing. And then you're going to turn for the one on the DTR. And right, you're going to keep that. And then you're going to go through there. And you should be done. So it's not that hard. It's kind of a figure eight, except there's a, a long extra turn. So let's, I'm going to show you what this looks like drifting. I'm not the best drifter. So don't bother the clipping points, I'm just showing what this track looks like when you're drifting. This is the long sleeping turn. It's like, yeah, that's going to be hard to tandem on a mess up stand. And then it's kind of a whole still long sleeping turn. I screwed that part up, but that's where you turn there. So yeah, um, I'm going to tell you the scoring rubric real quick. I'm just going to repeat that track while I'm saying this. The scoring rubric is a little bit harder now because I would get times where too many people were losing by like one point. So I'm going to have a little more uh, variation. So out of 100 points total, when you're solo, which means uh, at the beginning, if you've never done so far, uh, at the beginning it's kind of like a qualifier, so you get two runs each. Uh, and they're solo so you get 20 points for holding the drift so if you do a great job at it you get 20 and if you do mediocre you get 10 obviously uh, and it variates around that now holding the drift it's just holding a drift i don't know how else to explain it uh, you also get 20 points for clipping points if you hit the clipping points and you get 10 points for speed if you hold a good speed and you get 50 points for the amount of angle you take in a corner uh, so if you make it past the solo in which if I have like 12 people I might have to run two different lobbies But I'll probably have like depending on how many people either the top four or the top eight and when you're in that you basically Do two leading runs and two chasing runs now There's different scoring for the leader if you lead with good form you get 50 points Which basically means you don't want to like you want to have a great drift as a leader, right? I don't know how to explain it. Just be good at drifting and you get 50 points. Now you get 30 points for a consistent angle, which means you have to be easy to uh, mimic by the chaser. So if you keep a consistent angle, like where you're going at like maybe 30 degrees angle, and then you don't want to just like stop and go to 10 degrees angle. So like consistent angle for that. And good speed is kind of the same principle. If you keep up a good speed and all that, and then it goes 100. For the chaser, there's only two categories. But if you can mimic the form of the chaser, you get 70 points out of that. So like obviously if you do really good, we made a couple mistakes, you get like 60. And keeping up with their speed, and that basically means like getting close to the person and stuff like that, that's 30 points. So that's that, um, if you would like to do this, I'm going to have the times up right now, but it is going to be December 9th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, so if you're in a different time zone, make sure you put that in your uh, time zone calculator or something. Uh, we are where this is. It's going to be December 9th, 1 p.m. EST. It's also UTC uh, negative 4, I think. I think. Yeah, it should be. So yeah, that's going to be time. If you want to join, put your gamer tag in the comment below. Only if you're actually going to join, put your car, your horsepower, and if you were on a team with someone. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have a team or not, it's just that at the end we're going to have a winner for the best team. Uh, so, Team Dog Drifters currently have that award. So yeah, uh, I guess that's all I have to say. I mean, nothing else to say here.
I've got season four. I mean, I'm gonna have all the graphics and stuff, so it's gonna look really, really cool. So that's why I need their horsepower and all that. And so now you're not cheating. And you put, make sure you put what uh, tires you're using as well. All right, see. Ya.